Hi, and welcome to episode nine of Empathic Action. Yesterday we talked about values, and this is part two. So if you want to hear a story about a woman who kind of came face to face with herself and didn't like what she saw in the mirror and made some very bold decisions to realign with her core values, check it out. Otherwise, welcome to episode nine. Um, I believe that living in alignment with your values is really important, especially now, because when you identify what your core values are and are living in alignment, you make decisions and you prioritize differently. So uh, that plays out in a number of ways, and I think that both um, personally and collectively, we need, in this moment in time, in the history of humanity, we need to get real about what our core values are so that we make decisions and we prioritize really like well for the future post COVID-19. And I'll, just a little idea of how that, why that's so important. We'll take the example of Bhutan, a small country in the Himalayan uh, mountain range that believes and lives by gross national happiness as opposed to GDP. And they were faced at one point, their parliament was faced with the opportunity of joining the World Trade Organization. Initially, they wanted to join, but then a group of parliamentarians said, hey, hold on a second, I think we need to analyze the implications of that decision by looking at what would, ha like what would happen to our gross national happiness as a result of joining the WTO. And after they did their analysis, they realized that their GNH factor would go down, so they decided not to join the World Trade Organization. So that's what I mean. When you know what your values are, you make decisions, um, and decisions are made more easily because you want to stay in alignment with your core values. So Brene Brown, the author of Dare to Lead and some other fabulous books, if you don't own Brene Brown, please check out her TED Talks and anything she's written. Um, writes in a chapter, Living Into Our Values, that we can't live into our values that we can't name. So this episode is devoted to naming your core values um, and starting ha start having a dialogue about them with your partner, your family, your extended family, community members, because when we start expressing what our core values are, we'll start making decisions in alignment with them. So um, on page 188 of this fabulous book, she has an entire list of values, which my fabulous editor, video, videographer editor, video editor, uh, Gathani is going to um, put up on the screen so you can pause um, to see that you, so you can see the entire list. And the exercise in this book says, choose about 10 or 12 values that really appeal to you and really speak to you of this list. And there may be other words, so it's not like the exhaustive list of values that exist in the world, but it is a nice long list. And then once you have your top 10 or 12, whittle it down to a top five, and then you're going to find it really, really difficult, but then try to narrow it down to your top two. And it's an extraordinarily um, revealing exercise to do. I found it remarkable and my husband and I have had really interesting conversations about what we share in common in terms of core values and where we complement each other and where our values sort of you know show up uh, um, in other interesting ways. So I encourage you to do this exercise, have some conversations with some family and friends and let's start to champion uh, the core values that I believe could take us to a better world uh, in a post-COVID um, moment. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.